Today's gospel is from Luke chapter 19, and it's the famous story of Zacchaeus, you know, the short tax collector in Jericho who climbs a tree in order to see Jesus. And it's from that vantage point that Jesus looks up and calls him down and simply says, Zacchaeus, I want to dine with you today. I want to go to your house. Immediately there's this protest of murmuring because an uh, observant Jew did not eat with tax collectors or sinners. So here Jesus is violating that taboo. It's interesting, Jesus doesn't say, convert of your sins, Zacchaeus. He doesn't say, you know, repent of your criminality regarding cheating people and robbing people, and then I'll come dine at your house. He says, I'll come dine at your house. And the power of that unconditional acceptance, that extension of Jesus' love to Zacchaeus, prompts him on the spot to convert. And so he says, you know, Lord, if I've defrauded anyone, I will pay them fourfold. I give half of my money to the poor. So we, we see here the Lord unconditionally loving sinners and yet not condoning their sin, calling them by his acceptance to a, a life of grace, of conversion, of love for the Lord and for their neighbor. And we see Zacchaeus respond beautifully, as I'm sure our Lord intended. So who are the people in our lives? Who are the Zacchaeuses sitting up in their tree, kind of watching, waiting for someone to extend a kind word to them, a loving gesture, an invitation? How can we be an extension of the Lord, calling them out of their tree so they're not simply observers, but to come into the church, to know the grace of the sacraments, to be active participants in the mystery of salvation, their own and those of other people? Like the Lord, we pray for that grace of unconditionally loving people, not condoning sin, certainly, but loving people even in their sinfulness and praying that our attempts of charity will somehow be used by the Lord to trigger conversion, transformation, both in others and in ourselves. So in the great story of Zacchaeus, um, Jesus ends by saying, the Son of Man has come to seek out and save what was lost. The Lord comes in search of us, and we see that in the Good Shepherd, in the parable of the lost coin, and we see it ultimately in Christ himself.